right guys let's have a look at some some pharmacological agent that work uh basically or principally in the presynaptic uh, uh on the presynaptic what membrane or neurons so for this i think we need to draw something and hand <coughs> So let's assume this big cycle over here is our presynaptic or terminal. <clears throat> so we've known that what? Here, tyrosine is taken up to a pump and then it gets into this uh, into the term, into the uh, the cytoplasm of what the presynaptic or neurons, where they converted to what to dopa, from dopa to dopamine. Then dopamine is now pumped into what the vesicle, where it gets converted by what an enzyme, which is called what uh, beta dopa hydroxylase to what norepinephrine, norepinephrine. We act on this guy. So there are some drugs that actually uh, utilize all this mechanism in order to bring about what their pharmacological effect. You understand? And the first drug I would like us to look at is what methyl tyroxine. We have a drug called methyl tyrosine, guys. Methyl what? Tyrosine. So how does this particular drug uh, works? Methyl tyrosine. This methyl tyrosine, it, it, it comes and then the methyl tyrosine is now picked up through the same pump that what? Uh, transport tyrosine. You understand? And then there's an enzyme that converts what? Tyrosine to what? To dopa. You understand? So in this place now, this methyl tyrosine will bind to that uh, to that uh, enzyme, and the name of that enzyme is what is what uh, we call what tyrosine hydroxylase. So methane tyrosine will bind to what tyrosine hydroxylase, guys. So once once methyl tyrosine binds to what tyrosine hydroxylase. It will not leave this enzyme, guys. You understand? And once this enzyme is being captured by methyl tyrosine, you understand? It means the whole of this, uh, uh, the whole of this what uh, processes will be inhibited. You understand? We will, not, we will not have dopamine. You understand? And eventually, we are not going to have what no epinephrine, guys. You understand? So by so doing, methyl tyrosine has inhibited what the synthesis of what no epinephrine. You understand? And at the same time indirectly brings about a reduction in what sympathetic activities you understand that yeah and another uh, good drug that we should uh, discuss is what recipin recipin actually this drug was once used as a, as an anti-hypertensive drug you understand but due to the very adverse side effects that it gives to his uh, patients you understand it it prones them to make him to committing suicide, guys. So how does this guy work? This guy comes and I told you earlier that there's a pump here that transports dopamine into the vesicles, guys. You understand? So this guy blocks this pump. Put a stop sign here. Stop. It blocks what the the, 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 the pump that transport what dopamine into what the vesicles. You understand? And if dopamine is uh, is Inside is left inside the vesicles. Don't forget, in the vesicles we have what we have mitochondria, and when we have mitochondria in the vesicle, and on the surface of this mitochondria, what do we have, guys? We have what a very very nasty enzyme, guys. Mal, right? Monoamino monoamino oxidase. You understand? So these particular enzymes. It brings about what the, the degradation of what dopamine. You understand? And once dopamine is degraded, it simply means that what these particular vesicles will be empty. We're not gonna have no epinephrine inside the, what, the vesicles because this the pump that transport what the dopamine into the vesicle is blocked by what this drug recipient. And also once this the, the, the once this pump is blocked. The dopamine will not be degraded by this particular enzyme. You understand? And as a result of that, action potential, of course, actually action potential will come, and this vesicle will bind 
to what to the internal surface of what they, they may bring and eventually exocytosis will take place but guess what was gonna happen we're gonna have an empty what vesicles you understand because what there is no no epinephrine inside the vesicles we're gonna have an empty vesicles you understand why because the pump that transport dopamine into, into the vesicle to be converted to no epinephrine has been blocked guys it has been blocked and this enzyme here will not leave this guy, this dopamine, it's gonna break it down. It's gonna degrade dopamine, guys. If it's, if this enzyme doesn't only degrade only dopamine, anything mono amine, all the neurotransmitters that are gotten from one amino acid, the likes of what serotonin, which is gotten from tryptophan, you understand? The likes of what uh, no epinephrine, which is gotten from what tyrosine. All this new histamine, which is got it from what histidine, all these neurotransmitters were derived from one amino acid. This guy here, he works on them and he degraded it. He, 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 he catabolized their what? He, 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 cat he, he catabolized their all these what? Mono amino acid, guys. That's one thing you should know. And there is another drug, there are some drugs that actually take advantage of the binding. Of this particular vesicles to this particular uh, internal surface of what the 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 the, 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 the membrane of what the nerve terminal. So we have two drugs that actually take uh, that prevent the binding of these vesicles to this particular membrane in such a way that what there is not going to be any form of exocytosis, let alone the release of what no epinephrine guys. And those two drugs. We have what? Guanadrine. Guanadrine. And what? Pretilium. So, guanadrine with pretilium, it prevents the binding of what? The vesicles to the membrane. So, we do. they just come here and then they'll put a stop over here, a stop sign. Stop sign. Therefore, we will not. Therefore, the vesicles will not bind to the, to the membrane, and then there's not going to be any form of what exocytosis. So all these drugs that we talked about right now, we talked about methyl tyroxine, which clings to what tyrosine hydroxylase, and then we talked about resepine, which blocks what the pumping of what uh, dopamine into what the vesicles, thereby uh, uh, subjecting dopamine to the action of what amino amino oxidase. And then we also talked about what guanadrine and what pretilium. Now these two drugs say they, they prevent the binding of what the vesicles to the what to the membrane, and we don't have what uh, and then uh, exocytosis, exocytosis will not take place, guys. And there is another drug, alpha methyl dopa, alpha methyl dopa, guys. It's called alpha methyl dopa, alpha methyl dopa. So this, this guy here is, is a very funny drug, this drug actually. What it does is that what? After being uh, taken up through what the, the tyrosine pump, it comes to the tyrosine hydroxylase and allow the tyrosine hydroxylase to, what? to, to convert it into what? Dopa, you understand? But don't forget it's alpha methyl dopa, you understand? So it's already, uh, what, it's already in, in, in its own what, dopa state. So, when this, this enzyme called as an enzyme called what dopa decarboxylase let me do power dopa decarboxylase guys so now this dopa decarboxylase will convert this alpha methyl dopa into what alpha methyl dopamine you understand and when it converts into alpha methyl dopamine, now this alpha methyl dopamine will now be pumped into the vesicles, understand? Where this alpha methyl dopamine will get converted into what? Alpha methyl no epinephrine. You understand? And now this alpha methyl no epinephrine will be eventually, guys, it will be released into what is not the cleft. But guess what? Alpha methyl dopamine does not stimulate, sorry, alpha methyl no epinephrine does not stimulate what the adrenergic receptors guys you understand so this drug is actually a very very good uh, example of what we call uh, 
is central in our uh, hypertensive, is central anti-hypertensive drugs, guys. You understand? Because alpha beta dopamine is like a false, it's a pseudo neurotransmitter, guys. It's a false neurotransmitter. It does not stimulate the adrenergic receptors. So that's one thing which we should actually take note of. So now we've discussed some group of drugs that can be called sympatholytic drugs. They are not adrenergic antagonists because they don't they don't antagonize the binding of uh, norepinephrine to the receptors. You understand? But they work basically or principally on the presynaptic what uh, neuron. That's why they're called sympatholytics. Sympatholytics, guys. So, or you can call them indirect what and adrenergic what antagonists. It depends how you you, you name how to keep them. You understand? Because they work indirectly, they indirectly decrease what the activities of what the sympathetic nervous system, guys. So right now, let's let's have a look at some um. Let's have a look at some direct acting what. Adrenergic word antagonist guys. <laughs>